Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it is going to be another hot mess fun planning style with yours truly in my TPC TDD, that's a big old mouthful. How about let's do Tipsy Dog Designs, Planners Collaborative, nah, TPC Nation, Collab Planner. I'm going to get it right. Okay, so... This, I really should use these bookmarks, how they're, you know, like, hey, let me flip right to the right page. <laughs> so, um, this is last week, which is still this week because I'm filming this on Sunday. So, we are going to go ahead and get to the next week. And I am using this no thanks Cupid kit from my shop um, just because, you know self-promotion <laughs> but also just to keep on with the heart february love no love kind of theme and i really just like the papers on it so okay um yeah so i'm going to get started with this uh not much going on this week besides um uh what was i gonna say Look at this. Already started. Um, I have, think I've only had one cup of coffee today. Um, yes, except for, you know, um, still getting things settled in the new office. Um, Russell Wayne, this, was, this is his long week of night shift, so... Uh, nothing has really been finished as far as the shelf that holds my cutters. Like, it, the shelf itself is done. But we realized that, you know, there was going to be like 10,000 cords showing. So, um, he's going to drill holes into the shelf because the inside is hollow behind each of the machines. And, um... We're going to do a USB hub in there and a power strip. And then that way there's one cord that's going to come out of the side of the shelf and drop down. And that's the power cord strip. Um, so that will be happening. Um, and then let's see here. What else? Um, do, do, do. Oh, I need a little splash for, because I like to put the little month right there. Oh, well, that one doesn't have February, so we're not going to use that one. I thought I had one that had February on it. My life is in shambles. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, you know, a disorganized planner. Aha, here we go. Okay. Um. So, yes, yeah, so we got to do that. And then the bookcase underneath it we were, um, it was stained like a natural wood color and, um, I am going to, uh, paint it white to match the tables that are in here that are the, um, dark walnut on the top and the, um, uh, white on the bottom. So, yeah, so we are going to do that. Um, uh, but I got to get the machines housed first because um, I have to be able to print and cut. And that bookcase is going to take a couple days to paint and dry. So, la, 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 la. There's that. And that's done. And I just, like, see little hairs everywhere. Mine, of course, because they are purple. Um, yeah, so... Uh, and then we will eventually paint my desk um, the same with the dark walnut um, on top and then the white bottom. But I will have to take my computer off and not use it for a couple days. So, and we're going to have to, ooh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. That was brutal. Um... Uh, for the, oh my God, what is happening today? Um, there we go. Not really, but okay. Um, uh, so the paint could dry, because the desk, Russ made himself, and it is butcher's block. Um, and so on the top, and then he made the bottom 
uh, it has like it sits on two little bookcase -ish kind of shelves and that's just like solid also and so um, uh, it can't be moved downstairs to paint it'll have to stay up here so that's gonna have to be like almost something I schedule where there is um, like in between, you know, full box monthly set and new releases, um, kind of thing. Cause that's going to be quite the project to paint it up here. Um, so anyways, but yeah, so that is the two things, uh, that are left. Um, and next week, this week, you know, this week coming up is his short week where he only works Wednesday, Thursday. So there'll be a lot more stuff getting done. Yay. Okay. Uh, yep. Here we go. I was like, I had one where, here we go. Thank you for your service. Um, Hmm, but yeah, I am super, super excited about it. So, look at me just moving stuff out of the way. Um, oh, I need my, oh gosh, there's like three sheets of that. Um, these, my UV tubes. Yeah, for this stuff. Oh, look, there's one right here too. Gee, I really should just like pick one sheet and stick to it, huh? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm like so excited. I'm so in love up here. Um, and I, every time I come up here in the morning, I'm just like, did this really happen? Did this really happen? Because we've been talking about it. I don't know. Russ and I started talking about it, so we did it. Um, we must have started talking about it like summer of last year. Um, and it was just one of those things, like, I knew, like, moving downstairs was going to be crazy, and, like, all the stuff that I had up here, and it was just such a project, and it was one of those things, like, I want to do it, but I don't want to do it, and then all of a sudden, I was like, we have the money, let's do it, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, all right, Ugh, time for the strips of death, I don't know why I just don't skip this part, but, um, I should, shouldn't I? Um, since I despise it, but when it's done, it looks so pretty, you know? So, I don't know. Anyways, okay. Well, these are being a butthead to get off. Um, but. Yeah, so, um, what a, oh, guess what else is happening this weekend? I'll wait for you to answer. Just kidding. Um, Alden, uh, I am going to pick him up on Thursday because he does not have school on Friday or Monday. And so I am going to drive down there on Thursday and pick him up from school and bring him back. And we are going to have so much fun. He's so excited to see the new office. I mean, he's seen it over FaceTime. He has been missing the dogs because they have not been up here. Um, well, it definitely hasn't been since they got Stella because, um, you know, my sister can't, couldn't bring Stella because she was a puppy and she had to have all of her vaccines. Um, and then, uh, She's so tiny, and Elvis just doesn't do well with tiny dogs because um, he doesn't understand what they are. <laughs> he has, so when we got him, we had Zoe, and Zoe was a nine-year-old boxer, so she was big. Um, and then, you know, there was Sadie and then Willis, and of course, Keebler said so whenever he sees a small dog, he's like, what is this? Is it a toy? It he's actually like frightened of it almost so i'm guessing that that might oh my god i really hope y'all did not hear that russell wayne just burped um he's downstairs in the kitchen um he just got home from work a little while ago so um it's not 
smart to bring Stella around. She'll come around this summer because she'll be bigger because she's a border collie. Um, so she'll probably be like Sadie's um, weight and size. Um, so it'll be fine because um, then she'll be, he'll, she will be older. Um, and Elvis loves the ladies. So, um, but yeah, so I know they haven't, and they got Stella in October, I think. Nope, November. I think it was November. Shoot, I can't even remember. Anyways, so at least that long. Um, I don't know if he's been here since summer, because it, sometimes it's just easier for me to go there. Um, uh, so that way I can see all of my family and um, my grandparents and stuff. Um, yeah, so it might have, it's my, it might. It might, like, it might have been since summer. I don't know. I'll have to ask my sister. But, it's been a hot minute, need, none, nonetheless, needless to say. Um, so, I can't, he can't wait to come. Um, he's so used to our dogs being self-sufficient as far as, like, going to the bathroom and they don't have to go, like, on a walk and we don't have to come home every like time our outings around getting them out of the kennel so I think he's really tired <laughs> he did tell me that um if they got a second dog he said Aunt Steffi I do not want it to be a puppy puppies are exhausting <laughs> I was like I know bud so but yeah um so funny anyways and you know of course here uh at home, he has lots of, like, not lots and lots, but he has chores that he has to do every week and homework. And, you know, he helps my sister and he cooks once or twice a week. Or, yeah, which he loves doing that part, so that's not a big deal. But it is one of those things, like, he doesn't have as many responsibilities here. And, of course, everything is fun and games and there's PlayStation and the dogs and, you know, in the summertime, there's the pool. And so, uh, but yeah, I'm going to get him on Thursday. And so he has taken a liking to, um, playing pool and he's actually kind of good at it. So, I mean, of course we don't follow like all the rules. It's just for fun. Um, but there is a pool, couple pool, 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 halls that my sister can take him in um, Somerville that are child friendly. So I looked up, there's like three or four around here. So this week before he gets here, Russ and I are going to go scout them out and see, find out if they're child friendly or not. Um, I'm pretty sure the one that doesn't open until four and closes at 2 a.m. probably is not going to be one of those places. <laughs> but Thursday, Uncle Russ is working, so when I pick him up from school um, and we get back into town before we come here, because if the dogs see him and then, oh man, one of these, oh poop. All right, well, if you got this kit, sorry, I did six of this one and only four of that one, so we'll put it on the bottom, so maybe it's not as noticeable. Sorry. Um, you know, shit happens. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're going to go see if they're family friendly. So whenever I pick him up, by the time I pick him up from school, um, he gets out at two and we will go back to my sister's house and we will let Stella out and he'll get packed up. Um, and we'll get all of his stuff, and then we hit the road. By the time we get back into Columbia, it'll be around that 5 o'clock hour, probably. And um, I'm going to see if any, like, there's one that's like a bar and grill with pool tables, so I'm going to see that should be... That probably will be the best place since it has a, you know, it serves food. I'm pretty sure it's definitely going to be family friendly then. Um, and uh, we'll eat dinner um, and play some pool. And then we'll come home before Uncle Russ leaves for work. And then him and I will hang out and 
play some video games together um, and watch some TV and get his room all, get him all settled in and the dogs will go crazy over him. <laughs> they are so in love with him, with Keebler and Willis especially. Oh my gosh. They love him so, so very much. So very much. Okay. So today, along with filming these Playing With Me's, so we're going to definitely upload on Saturday. So I think what I'm going to do... Let's do Thursday, and we're going to do Tuesday. So, there's three because today I am also going to film some of the beginning to um, hand lettering. So, yeah. I can't wait, wait, wait. Ugh. These ones, I think I've, I've said that, well, I've said this before. These were a custom for someone, and... They were cut too deep, so sometimes ah, when stickers are cut too deep, you can pop the corner up just enough to get it out, and then that way you can still use them. In case you get them from a sh my shop, any shop, where they're cut a little too deep. First of all, if they're cut too deep from my shop, please let me know. Because um, I hate fighting with stickers. Um, which is why sometimes if you get stickers and it looks like one of the corners of one have been popped up, it's because I popped it up trying to make sure that it wasn't cut too deep because something about it didn't look right. Um, make sure it was cut or and not cut too deep. But this one just, this one is being hassled and I don't think it's gonna pop up. Yeah, that one's not gonna pop up. But yeah, you can pop it on the corner and voila, it'll still come off. Um, because these machines are not made for what shop owners do with them. Like, they're made for small projects and stuff. And we just, of course, blow it out of the water by, um, instead of, you know, filming, filming, um, a couple, um, cutting a couple of stickers a month or, like, a couple of sheets a month or something, you know, we cut hundreds of, th some shops, thousands of um um thousands of sheets so uh yeah they're abused when shop owners own them <laughs> so but yeah um anyways so uh we'll do that and then friday um I've got some errands to run that I am going to take him with me because Uncle Russ will get home Friday morning and he will sleep um, and he has to switch over to, well, no, yeah, and he has to switch over, get ready to switch over for day shift on Monday. So, um, he uh, will, like, he won't sleep too long, but he does need a couple hours of, like, quiet. So, we're, I'm going to take all the, we're going to run around, we'll go get some lunch, all that fun stuff. Okay. Ooh. So, yay. Definitely I can do this on Thursday, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to go to Somerville and get all done. So. But, yeah. Ah. Come on. There we go. So. That'll be happening. Hey, Kiwis. Um, and then when Uncle Russ gets up, we are going to have lots of things planned because Alden does love to cook. So Russ, like he's thinking up a menu for this uh, weekend. And then that's one of the things we're going to do on Friday is go to the grocery store. Oh, excuse me. And um, get stuff so that him and Uncle Russ can smoke things and um, uh, grill on the hibachi grill, all that good stuff. So, guys, oh my gosh, uh, I ruined my pedic my manicure. Okay, so like you know, my nails have been black. Um, I had the powder dip on there. And moving all the furniture cracked some of them. And so, of course, I was, like, picking at it and ended up picking, like, oh, my God, my nails 
are just trash. So I went to go get a manicure and the guy was like, they're really short, so the polish is probably gonna chip, but come back and I will fix it. I didn't even notice I did that. I literally just got these done on Thursday. So I am so rough on my nails, which um, is why um, I try to keep them polished. Ugh, because I am a nasty nail biter. And nasty because it's nasty to me. Some people don't care. I think it's gross um, just because uh, my hands are like ink and paper and packaging and dogs. And like this is, and it started when I was a kid. So I used to play softball. First of all, I need to think about what the heck I'm doing here. We got new releases on this day. Um, so um, when I was um, a kid, I played softball and I used to have you know, like kid nails, um, as far as they just grew, like, um, I didn't really do anything to them. I started playing softball when I was like seven or eight or something. And, um, uh, when I would catch a ball, like they would, like if the ball hit just right, like they would rip or break or tear. And so my mom started cutting them and she was cutting them down you know, short, so they wouldn't, because the, they would rip deep and pass the quick, and a couple of times she would nick me with the nail cutters, and so I had to solve the problem. I started biting them before she could cut them, and here we are, 42 years old. Russ will be like, get your fingers out of your mouth. <laughs> so, uh, it's just one of those things, like, it, um, has always been a thing and I cannot seem to break myself of the habit. And um, like my mom used to put, I was talking with somebody cause I've mentioned something on my stories about how, you know, you could buy that stuff to put on your, your, your nails so you wouldn't bite them. And it was so disgusting and I would still bite them and I would just have a drink next to me so I could take a drink <laughs> after I, was still trying to bite my nails with that nasty stuff on there. So, anyways, that's my nice childhood story. That was not straight. But, yeah. So, um, still. So, yeah. But, anyways, I didn't even realize. Now, look, I'm going to hyper-focus on that. Thanks, ADHD. You're the best. Um, all right. So... What else is going on? Well, hi, hi, Willis. Hey, Bobby. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, oh, this is Valentine's Day too. Dirt. <laughs> Doreen, don't get mad at me. Uh, Russ is off. He's like, "What do you want to do?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't want to go anywhere. That's for damn sure." Is all the restaurants will have all of these, you know, special couples meals, blah, blah, blah. And really, they just overcharge you for the same shit that you can get any other day. Um, and it's extra crowded. So, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Man, I am just a grumposaurus today, aren't I? Um, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put one of these. So, I um, have been doing this, like, seven. It's a 14-day reels challenge where you um, try to upload a reel a day. Um, uh, and it's just to help you get comfortable with them and have fun with them also. But um, it's just, uh, they provide, so the guy's name is Brock Johnson and it's free, it's completely free. Um, and he sends you the audio with just some, tips on like, uh, you know, making sure it applies to what you're selling or your business, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I like doing reels a lot. Um, they're really a lot of fun. And sometimes I will get a creative like spurt and be able to film like six, seven, eight to keep them in my drafts. And then sometimes I'm just staring at the wall like what? So it has helped get me out of my comfort zone because sometimes I tend to do the same ones too over and over again, you know, like where it's a blank page and then the spread is done, which I mean, it's a planner channel or planner Instagram. So I guess that's appropriate, but you know, it is what it is. Um, oh, that's right. I grabbed some character stickers to start putting in my spreads because 
one, they're in the shop, so I should probably showcase them. And two, I like seeing the dogs in my planners, except for these ones that I pulled that show that I have bills due. I don't wanna do that. All right, so Alden and I are gonna go grocery shopping. Oh, I just totally, poor Elvis. Oh, that's Willis, I just ripped him in half. Um. I'm just gonna put him in the middle of this just to change it up some. But yeah, so uh, that's been kind of cool. Um, let's see here, today is gonna be day four of it. Um, so that's why there's been a few more reels that are a little bit different that have been like showing my face and stuff because that is something that I don't like to do as far as reels um, because one, I um, do not fix my hair at all. I fix my hair like twice a week if I'm going somewhere. <laughs> um, definitely don't put on makeup. I rarely put on a bra. Um, yeah, so, you know, sorry. I know, like, if y'all are yawning also, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, so anyways, this is just kind of the basic because, oh, that's crooked. Um, I've said before, this is mainly pin, and I don't really have a lot of things pre-scheduled. Like, at the end, like tomorrow morning when I get up um, and get up here, I will look at last week and see some things that I didn't do that I will roll over to onto here. But as far as anything else goes, like, this is pretty much how the week starts and then it just adds on from there. So like I will take, like I'll keep, since I just had these left, like I will keep this um, tucked, like usually right around here or next to my planner or something so that they're right there for access. But as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty much pin. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like it, if you could give a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And I will chat with you guys later.